の五番何者Guys, and welcome to Hoshumi's Hangout, a place for just casual anime related content. So, with that said, let's go straight into it. So, during this quarantine period, I've had quite a bit of time on my hands, and I thought, what better time than now to start one of these long winded manhwas? Now, what I thought would take me months, maybe weeks, took me four days, and I can't lie, but I'm pretty surprised at the pace which I'll be reading this, but at the same time, it was it was wow wow that's all i can say but before i actually speak about it this was my first manhwa so like i'm not sure if what i'm saying is completely true and like i don't have another manhwa or several manhwas to compare it to but um i'm just gonna go from reading manga and i'm gonna try and compare it to that but i'm uh, i'm just gonna talk about my experience with um marshall peak if you don't know what marshall peak is it is a manhwa i'm assuming you probably pick that up from the pictures and the title of this video but i thought i'd just say it anyway but um yeah marshall peak is a manhwa i didn't really see an online presence for it so i just thought i'll put out a video of my experience with reading the the, the manhwa i guess but um yeah let's go into that now when i first started reading marshall peak there were quite a lot of tropes which i thought were going to put me off and make me deterrent to continuing the manhwa for example um one of them was the main character is or he doesn't start but he has this typical he's not strong at the start something happens to him and then you know he just his strength grows exponentially i'm not gonna say it because of spoilers just in case i'm gonna try and keep this spoiler free another trope was um his typical he meets damsel in distress she falls in love with him quote unquote and you know doesn't necessarily join his crew but you know every time she sees him it's you have that typical baka baka it's not like i like you or anything the two terms to describe what i just said would probably be an opmc and a horror now it's not that i don't like these two genres it's just that i wanted something different but on the flip side it made me realize that i had watched way too much shonen like I was getting surprised when a character on the opposite side was dying. There is consequence in this show. Now, so with that said, let's talk about the plot. Now, we're introduced with our main protagonist, Yang Kai, who has a cultivation defect. If you don't know what I mean by a cultivation defect, just listen later on in the video and I'll kind of explain that. But he has a cultivation defect and his goal is to reach the martial peak. Now, the martial peak is basically the strongest human or the strongest being i guess like yeah, take on it what you will but it's basically becoming the strongest in the world and um due to his cultivation defect this definitely seems out of reach however he comes into contact with a mysterious item and bish bosh bam things happen i'm not gonna get into that because spoilers but things happen and you know the story progresses to his journey to reach the Marshall Peak, we meet a lot of interesting characters along the way. A lot of interesting arcs happen. My favorite, free, my favorite being the. Uh, I'm not actually gonna say the name because it's kind of a spoiler, but it is the journey to a certain inheritance war and the inheritance war itself till some things happened. But yeah, if you've if you've read it and you're up to date, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm probably gonna do a separate video on this, talking about more about Yankai and my thoughts and opinions of Marshall Peak, but yeah, that's another interesting part. Now, the last, the last part which I want to go into in this video is the power system. Now, the way in which the power system works is kind of like realms. So if I'm comparing it to Dragon Ball Z, you would have maybe base realm to Kaioken realm. And in the base realm, there would be seven minor realms which you have to break through into before you can reach the Kaioken realm. So for example, if in the base realm you had base realm one, base realm two, base realm three, all the way up to seven or nine in this case, um, then you could break through into the Super Saiyan realm, then you'd have, oh, Kaioken realm, sorry, and then you'd go break through into the Kaioken realm nine, and then break through into the Super Saiyan one realm, and then so forth. Now, instead of like Kaioken, Super Saiyan, they're called um, cultivation realms, and you know um to go into the next realm or to go progress into a minor realm 
you have to cultivate and that kind of improves a whole bunch of stuff which i'm not going to get into due to time but um for example instead of base it's called the template body instead of kaioken it'd be called initial element and instead of subsane one it'd be called key transformation and like this this just progresses on as you read the story the power system is somewhere in between nen from hunter hunter and key from dragon ball and dragon ball z and all of that so it's definitely not boring but it's always and they use there's a whole variation to the whole power system a whole other factors come into play but yeah for the sake of time i'm not going to go into all of that so definitely yeah if you are going to read it check it out and let me know what you think now before i close up for this video there's just a few miscellaneous points which i want to hit the first being actually researching this um researching like facts and stuff for this video um i didn't actually know until i researched it that it was based off of a novel now this novel is far for me personally i'm never going to read the novel because it's hard enough trying to rem memorize um all these characters names and um in the novel like i just read a page of a chapter which i've read and now uh, nah, i'm not doing that because in the manhwa at least i can kind of see to kind of remember what a character looks like but then there's only like a few characters who you can say their names and i'm gonna know who they are but other than that like I'm not reading the novel, but the novel is far, so like, even when I want to go on the wiki and stuff, there are spoilers for me, even though I've caught up with the manhwa, which is a bit annoying, but you know, what can you do? The second thing was, if you are going to read it, which I advise you do, give it at least, I don't know how many chapters it took me until I became hooked and was doing 100 chapters a day or something like that, but um, if you are going to read it, read until... I don't know 50 chapters just read just read just keep on reading like the three episode rule read like 50 chapters if that's too much just 20 20 just read 20 and even if it's a bit bland just keep on going because it gets better trust me and the last thing was if you are going to read this please read it on marshallscans.com i know it's convenient to read it on your manga app whichever manga app you use and i know it's convenient to like i don't know go and kiss manga and all those websites but please read it on Marshall Scans. It's not, this isn't sponsored or anything. The reason is that, you know, it's just nice to support these people translating it out of their free time. They don't have to do it, but they are going to do it. And reading it on the website helps with their AdSense and all that stuff. So please read it on there if you are going to read it. It's just easier that way. And, you know, um, you don't get wrong translations because what Kiss Manga would do is, or websites and apps like Kiss Manga and Manga Rock, for example, Definitive, what they would do is, um, as soon as it drops on Marshall Scans, they'll just grab it. They won't even check the translation. So, you know, if you want that authentic reading and make sure you're reading the right thing, which is translated right, then go on marshallscans.com. I'll drop the link in my description below. But, um, yeah, definitely support them that way so that we can keep on getting our translations. And that's pretty much it for this video. I tried to keep it to five minutes, but it looks like that wasn't the case. I'll try and keep it under nine. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.